Pisces. Treat me nice, please. It is me, Ra. It is she, Ra. It is Vera. It is Scorpion, Red, Sarah. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energy is surrounding you for the month of April 2021, baby. I want to give you all big love. I want to give shout out to all my OGs. I want to give a shout out to all my newbies. I'm going to give a shout out to every last one of my babies that have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Thank you so much for coming through and showing me love and support. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with me, or if you want to, you know, just send some love, gratitude, and support to the page, you can click the description box of this video um, or check out the About tab on my YouTube page. It gives the various ways to contact me. The best way to contact me for booking is Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, just simply shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. You'll see the pricing list there, and you'll see various ways to go ahead and, uh, you know, show some love and support to the page. You know, possibly get a new deck, some new lighting, you know, just any type of equipment, anything that, you know, we can use here to just keep the magic flowing. So, again, thank you guys for all the love and support. You know, as we always do, we like to give Father God, the creator, the universe, whatever it is that you call him, however he resonates in your life. We like to always give him his flowers, give him his acknowledgments, give him his thanks and gratitude for everything that we have in our life and for every vision that he has for us in the future so if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me let's give him a moment of uh our time so father god we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of pisces father god we thank you so much for everything just swimming upstream in our life we thank you so much for all of the growth we thank you for us just being able to move through any type of obstacles with elegance and wisdom father god we see our growth we see the sun shining we see everything springing into life we thank you so much for the change of the seasons um no more laying dormant things is waking up things are just like just being very beautiful i like i love all the beauty you know i love hearing the nature i, I love every single little bit of energy that is being awoken right now that's just bringing this cosmic universal just like energy of just love and just happiness and just prosperity in the future we just we know that we're just destined to just be happy and to be comfortable and just you know being thankful to and faithful to our just our, our happiness and our development so we just thank you so much father god for blessing the sign of pisces please give us the guidance that we need to receive today um in every day but please give us guidance for the sign of pisces for april 2021 and thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future amen amen and amen all right so listen we got a whole bunch of little bevy of decks here we have general energy finance and career on this side we're going to take one card from each one of these decks and over here we have a love we got love we got love and we're going to take two cards from each one of these decks so I just feel like it's easier to just, you know, lay the cards out instead of trying to go through one of them at a time. It makes the video so much longer and we ain't got time for that today. So, let's see what we got. Alright, give me one card for Pisces, please. Oop. Oh, Jesus. Y'all got the storm. Mm-hmm. A tower moment. Okay, something got to be, listen, listen, some, some shit got to go. <laughs> some shit got to go, you know, so it's just sometimes things have to happen naturally. Some, sometimes we tear things down on our own and some things happen as a natural disaster. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Give me guidance here. Give me guidance in regards to success. You got Kelvin Klein. You got Kelvin Klein. Kelvin Klein held on to his popularity for a long time. I don't think you hear people talk about Kelvin Klein like that anymore. Kelvin Klein needs to figure out a way to reinvent himself. I've... What does this say? Take risks. And have a press. Take risks and have a press statement ready. Find real meaning in innuendo. 
outrage into art form. Ooh. What did I just say? I just said that Calvin Klein needs to recreate itself because you don't hear people talk about. I remember back in the day, and I may be showing my age. I fucking love that Calvin Klein fucking um uh the perfume. Wasn't the Kelvin kind of perfume where men and women can both wear? It was like a unisex spray or something. Wasn't that Kelvin Klein? Am, am, am I tripping? Kelvin Klein, take risk and have a press statement ready. So with this being said, with this storm, it's something that is about to hit. It's about to hit hard. It's about to, to destroy the foundation of something to which you thought you were or where you were at or someone thought that they were with you I feel like this has something that, I mean this has something to do with your foundation I feel like people are not I feel like you need to make a new statement in your life and you need to shape things up you may be tearing down like your current foundation whatever type of organization whoever does your press whoever does your media whoever has been working in your likeness like it's your name you need to redesign yourself and i feel like you need to like change your marketing approach sometimes like it takes for extreme things to happen like damn i see all of these other brands being still in the media they're still getting the exposure like I still see people walking around with Tommy Hilfiger and all of these other brands that were like out in the 80s, that was out in the 90s, that was really like cart running through the industry. So it's like what happened to you is like somehow Kelvin Klein fell off. I don't know if it had something to do to some type of storm that had, that was in the infrastructure of the company itself. What is this? You got the judgment and then you got the eight of wands. So what this is basically telling me here is like. It's like you accepting whatever responsibility for whatever happened um, during the state of the time in the industry. Why am I feeling like someone like took a fall when like the country was going through like a deficit or something like that? I don't know if this was something that happened like eight years ago. It's like, yeah, it could have been something that t happened eight years ago. Or, uh, I feel like a while ago. And it could have just taken you a long time to recover. Whenever I see the, just, the judgment card, it's time for you to like show and prove. It's time for you to show your talent, to show your gifts. It's time for you to have a, it's time for you to make a new statement. The judgment card to me is, it's like God calling you out. It's like God telling you to come here. It's time for me to hear what you have to say so that I can make my final judgment on what I'm going to do with you. It's like you, you, you being able to make your last word. I definitely feel like God is calling you out. The eight of wands to me, it's like. It's not only about things moving in a rapid pace and just like a lot of things coming at you quickly. It's about you finally being able to hit your your target. It's like literally it's like they're calling for you. They're not calling for anybody else. They're calling you with this judgment card. It's like people see you for your worth. People see you for your gifts or it's like your calling to me. Like, I don't know. I feel like the judgment is like the calling card. Because if you, if you remember the judgment card, it's like souls being lifted out of the grave and being called up to, you know what I'm saying, to God to answer for the things that they have done in this lifetime, in this space, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, again, it's like you being rebirthed, it's like you being lifted, you being, re, you know, like you're, you're, your soul is being lifted, it's being risen, it's being able to speak for itself, it's being able to show its worth. And because of that, I want to say because of your good judgment, because I want to say, I don't know if ever you 
right if you righted your wrongs and either you did your community service it's like you did something to um make up for any indecisiveness in the past anything that could have been blocking like there could have been some type of blockage in regards to um a lot of opportunities coming your way people being receptive to your ideas or whatever the fuck it was it's like you ever had to do community service you had to have a certain amount of credit you had to put a certain amount of time in. it's like you had to be able to pass a certain amount of tests and it's like show your work or something like that. But now it's like, and if you look at it, it's like, do you see how it's everyone got their hand raised? They, they want to be picked. They want to be chosen. But it's like God is calling you to do it. And it's like you could be having several different assignments or it's like several different ideas. It's like or all of this shit that has been built up in your head. It's like coming out all at one time. It's just like a lot of ideas, a lot of. Uh, I want to say like shit that you again it's like I don't know if your creative spark just peaked out of fucking nowhere like you could have had a writer's block you could have like been creatively stagnant for a minute and just now all of a sudden everybody got their hand up and God says you Pisces what are your ideas what do you think we should do with this and then next thing you know it's just like everything just started flooding out of your mind and like god is just like oh yeah you know what i'm saying but if you would have not if something would have not been torn down with this storm you would have not I want to say I have the time to kind of sit by yourself to reinvent, to recreate yourself. And again, with this, take risk and have a press statement ready. Again, like I said, this is you being able to speak on your behalf and showing proof on your ability now since all of this came true. I don't know if you it, 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 like, like, did you want God to tear this down? Did you need this energy? Did you need like a clean slate, like a clean sweep? It's like a, a hurricane or something just came and, shh, and just, you know, like how a hurricane to come. I mean, not a hurricane, a tornado come and it'll flatten shit for miles. Like, it's like, I feel like you needed that though. Because it's like you didn't want to do it yourself. You just wanted things to just naturally just be exposed. Things naturally to be uprooted and just, just to go away on its own. Um, it's like you could have had your safety gear. You could have had whatever type of protection or like um, an underground storage or something that you could have went to your basement while the tornado came or whatever like you had whatever you need but it's like when you came up out of the storm it was just like a level playing field what it says talk to your angels instead of worrying ask for divine guidance outrage into art form Outrage in the art form. Now they saying that. Now, now I'm hearing that he did this to me. They did something to. They did something. Remember I was saying something about like a natural disaster. Like whatever the fuck it was. It was going to call quits on its own. Or it was going to end up breaking down on its own. Like it, it was, it was, it was, shit was turning or something was moving too fast or something didn't have the stability to keep up or in some way. It was just naturally, it was just a disaster waiting to happen. And it's like, instead of you being fixated on the who, what, when, or why's, it's like, you know what you were doing. You know that you meant well, you know that. Even at this point, you still wish them well and you're sending them on, on your way. And that's good judgment on your part. And that's why I say, what do you think about the situation? What, what, what do you think happened? What do you have to say about the output of 
what you think should go on about the situation now that it's all said and done and it's like all of this shit is coming and it's like everything that you're saying it's like makes logical sense I don't know why I feel like whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing is like want to invoke some type of change or something like that. Again, turn an outrage into an art form. It's like being able to take whatever this is, because if this didn't break down, if this didn't tear down, you wouldn't have the clean slate to do what you're about to do now, to reinvent yourself, to take the risk that you're about to do. It's like, it's, I want to say like something crazy is going to happen, but it's going to put the spotlight on you to be able to get your name back out there or something. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's like a legal case. I don't think it's a legal, is it a legal case? Okay. I don't want to say that, but it's like they're saying like someone's speaking out about Black Lives Matter or some shit like that. What is this? This is a lot. This is a whole lot, bitch. I'm not doing all of that. Give me one card, please. What is this? You got the wedding card with the five of hearts. Which is a good card. So like. It's like you're at this point in your life. It's like where you're ready to make this final step. It's like you're very confident in yourself. Like you're really focused on. I want to say like your look. Your appearance. Um, your hair. Your nails. Um, the way that you smell. Again with that Kelvin Klein. Cologne type of thing like that. It's like. I want to smell good to both men and women. Like, I want to have a certain type of appeal. I want to have a statement. Like, when people see me, I want it to be a statement. I want people to listen to me. I want people to feel comfortable in a way with me where I'm able to speak my piece. And I don't know why I'm kind of getting, like, um, it's like swaying people's vote or something. It's like having a certain type of appeal, a certain regal elegance with yourself. It's about the way that you look, the way that you uh, talk. It's about the way that you smell. It's about the whole ambiance or something like that. So I definitely feel like, I don't know if like you're being called out because you look the part. Like, I don't know. But I feel like you look different or you changed something because of the storm it's like you could you it's like imagine and i'm not trying i don't want to talk about like tornadoes and shit like that because i know that's a fucking disaster i mean it's a natural disaster but like let's say someone lived in an area and they had a house they had everything right and a tornado come and you ran to the basement and you're hearing this sounds like a tractor trailer running over top of your fucking house you wake up in the next morning, everything is flat for miles. Everything you is everything's gone. Your car, your whole house, everything. Like you come out the basement, it's just outside disaster. Because of that, I feel like the outrage into an art form. You really had to, instead of sitting there crying, you had to focus yourself on how to rebuild. You could not allow yourself to sink into the pits of despair about the situation. I don't know if you being the spokesperson, if you are being the poster boy, poster girl for disaster victims and you are speaking about the outrage. Like, this like on some Katrina level shit, like... Speaking on how the public should know about this. Like, how y'all speaking about this, but y'all not speaking about this. This is your people. Like, it's like, 
I don't know, I'm feeling like it's like you're stepping out in front of the media and it's like whatever you're saying is hitting home and it's like people want to hear you talk. Like, I don't know if like you're out in, in front of a stadium or somewhere and you're answering questions and people are like, you know, it's like really digging into you, getting into you. You know what I'm saying? It's like some way you take a tragedy and turn it into like an art form. And find the real meaning in Induendo. So let's get into love a little bit. I'm just going to leave that alone. But I definitely feel like someone is going to turn a tragic situation into an opportunity where they become an influencer. It's like they find their calling they 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 it's like they fall into something that they love almost and it's talking to this angels card it's like instead of worrying about how fucked up the situation is continue to speak out on how you feel it's like people are listening to you like there are a lot of people that are just sitting down and crying and saying woe is me about this disaster but it's like you're going out doing philanthropic things it's like you are uh contacting the media you are doing the things that other people are not doing to get other people help so it's like it's like you're investing your time into something that's very meaningful and i feel like you feel good for doing it with the wedding i feel like it's like you're married to your craft you're married to rebuilding yourself and like not being in the space of lack anymore. It's like now that I have this time to uh, talk and, and get all of this shit out. All of these ideas now that everything is flowing to me. Like I'm going to make the best of it. I'm going to make the most of it. Like if they want me to be the spokesperson, I'm going to be the spokesperson. Let me go fit it. I'm going to make sure that I look good. I want people to really take me seriously. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm in love with doing this. I feel beautiful like even though this is like i it's something about like you wouldn't be in this place and this opportunity to do what it is that you now love unless this happened so it's just like with kelvin klein i don't know if kelvin klein is about to make a comeback with like a cologne or something like that but if this motherfucker wouldn't have fell off during the deficit or just the times change or whatever the fuck it is if he wouldn't have fell off he wouldn't have been forced to change himself and to rebrand himself and to remarket himself and come up with some. It, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Like, yo, if Kelvin Klein come out with some new shit, it, I swear I'm going to be like, yo, you know what? God. Okay. That's not. Ke yeah, that is Kelvin Klein. Okay. So the five of hearts represents the feminine energy, the woman's thoughts, frilly things, knitting, sewing, girly. Female sexual energy, intimacy, tenderness, holding hands, physical displays of affection, the right hand on the right side, doing right, being right, being truthful, fair, just, desired opportunities, a proposal which brings happiness and success, satisfying one desires, fulfilling a dream. So again, like I said, it's like, didn't I say so? It's like... Being a spokesperson, these, anyway, let me just, I, I, I keep trying to move on, but it's, <laughs> sorry, I keep trying to move on, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm so sorry, alright, let's go, let's get into love, let's see what's going on with y'all in love, Pisces, give me two cards for Pisces, what is this one, you deserve love, give me one more card for Pisces, you got engagement, Oh, and then y'all got wedding. Jesus, Lord have mercy. Y'all better come on in and show the fuck on out. Go on and show on out and show me what you're all about, Pisces. Okay, listen. You deserve love, engagement, and then wedding. Hello. Hello. I'll answer to that. Or you would answer to that. I would answer to that. That's the way it goes, honey. That's the way love goes. Ooh, hey, hey, that's the way love goes. That's the way love goes. It goes, it goes. Yes. Listen, Father God, I'll answer to that calling. And please let it come. Happen fast, quick, in a hurry. Listen, God, listen, listen, listen. And then you got the wedding card here, too. Hold on. 
hold on Pisces listen sometimes like I said when God come through in divine order and divine timing it may seem crazy at the moment it may seem like the hardest thing that you're going through in your life but when storms comes natural disasters when things just it's just naturally it's done its part in your life it's ready to go God had to come and clean shit out to give you a clean slate it's because God got something better for you baby God's going to listen when God call answer he could have listen he could have came in any one of these signs readings and he could have put these cards out ain't none of these other signs get this None of these other signs get this. And actually, I restarted this video. When I first started this video, um, what had came out, the one had came out in this deck. The one had came out. Um, it was like the one had came out in the fault line. And what I was saying about that reading, now that I'm seeing the storm, it's like all coming together. Because when the storm came out, I was like, God, I don't really want to. You know, because that's kind of harsh, but I understand, like, in the fault line, I was basically saying, um, y'all had gone through a stage where, like, you cry and you cry and you cry where you couldn't cry no more about the situation. Have you ever cried so much where your face was dry and raw from how much you cried and you can literally see the salt tear stains running down your face and everything and have you ever go try to wash your face out and then your skin burns because your, your face is all red and raw and everything from you constantly wiping your skin and the constant flowing of, of water down your face it's like your skin is raw and it's burning but it's like you needed to get that cry out you needed to get all of that negative toxic emotion out so it could be filled up with something different do you understand what i'm saying and then for the one to be the card that fell out first but you had to understand about the fault line you had to be cracked open like that in order for you to be revealed with something greater you had to go through the storm in order for everything to be cleared out naturally you understand Things are naturally just supposed to happen because God got other things in plan for you. And the quicker that we can understand that, the quicker things will get to going. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not about trying to keep up with society. Who gives a fuck if you fell off? Who cares if you've had right or block or whatever? When God called on you and he says your turn is your turn. And can't nobody stop that. And can't nobody do shit with you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if Calvin Klein about to come the fuck out and just shit on everybody. <laughs> but if he is, honey, I feel like can't nobody. Look, don't worry. Don't worry. Because when God call you, it's your turn. It's your turn to come out here and shine. They can't do shit with you, baby. What can they do with you? Hmm. Not a damn thing. Baby, you got, you deserve love. It says you are lovable. You got that glow. Okay, bitch, you got that glow. Okay, you got engagement. Your love life is extending to a higher level of commitment. Not just your love life, but all aspects of your life. Because you got the wedding card right here as well. And you got wedding. This situation involves marriage. Baby, let's see what the hell we got going on. Let's see what we got shaking and earthquaking around up in here for my Pisces. Okay, because y'all ain't even come to play. Y'all came to slay today. You're like, God, let it be removed. Let me be relieved. <laughs> Help me to believe I could come out here and it's like set a trend and make a name for myself like I've never made before. Like there's people that's never even heard of Calvin Klein that's going to find out about who I am. Now that's going to go back and try to get my old shit. And guess what? When everybody try to go back to go get my old shit, I'm about to raise the price up on that shit too. Yes. Like what? The fuck? I'm here now, okay? Yes. Y'all really about to make me go and go get me a bottle of that old KC. Um, that KC one. It wasn't that what it was called, KC one. I I had I had that cologne. I did. Like this shit smelled so good. I know I'm not fucking tripping. All right, give me one card over here. Do one card for you deserve love for Pisces. Oh, yes, we got the chariot, honey. Come on. When I'm trying to say things are coming 
and shit is in rotation for you, baby. I feel like you're very confident in this age in your life. Like, you know the direction that you're going. And people going to put some respect on your name. Like, you have a very good balance of the light and the dark. You are... It's, it, it's just... You understand the appropriateness of certain things in certain places with certain people. You don't do too much for people and with people no more. You reveal yourself, your wants, your desires, you know, that sexual intimacy and all of those different dimensional levels that you go, especially sexually, you only pull that out when you really feel that divine connection with somebody. It's like, especially with the men, it's like y'all, it's like y'all don't just give yourself to anyone no more. Y'all don't just be drifting through life. It's like you very much so know what you want. You're confident in your ability to get it. And you deserve love. You know what I'm saying? And you're lovable. You feel lovable. You feel great. You feel better than you ever felt in your life. And I definitely see you're going after every fucking thing that you feel that you deserve. And right now, we definitely see you're confident about engagement and marriage. It's like, I didn't go through that for nothing. God didn't clear all of that shit out. God didn't clear this slate for me for nothing. I deserve commitment. I deserve, like, a real foundation. A foundation that's based off of love. And, like, true honor and respect for each other. You know? And, and, and I'm here, it's like, I don't even want no kids. It's like, I want to help. We, I want someone that we gonna help each other raise each other's kids. We gonna take care of each other's kids together. It's like it's like a blended family unit of just like happiness, intense happiness. It's just what is needed here. It's like I'm not even worried about no kids and all that shit. We just gonna take care of the kids that we got. We gonna vacation, travel, eat good, and just like enjoy the best of life. Like that's really what I see there. Give me two cards on the engagement and the wedding for Pisces. Give me guidance on this for Pisces. Yes. Ooh, you got the lover's card. Yeah. Pisces, are y'all fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> y'all giving me chills. Like, I don't even want to read no further. This is amazing. I swear, I swear, like when God removes shit out of your life and he remove it and he remove it. And I mean, when he dig down in the dirt and he's snatching bare root up out the goddamn soil, baby. When he goes through and surgically removes some shit about your life, thank him. You got it. It may hurt now. Remember, I was saying with the fault line, you could have cried or you could have cried or you could have cried where you felt like, damn, I'm about to just drink a gallon of water because I got to replenish. Because <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel feeble after the way I, I, I have to replenish myself. You know what I'm saying? And when you replenish yourself with true love. We're feeling confident. You see how that star is at the top of that chariot? Like true confidence. Knowing that you're willing and deserving of true happiness and love. Sometimes God got to take certain shit away for the right thing to stay, baby. Sometimes God got to take certain shit away for the right thing to stay. And things that happen fast, it's happened quickly. You understand what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You just definitely feel successful. And I feel like a lot of things are opening up for you. Don't worry about anything. Especially if you see a lot of shit being destroyed around you. That's because... Clean slate. New direction. New direction. You got the heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect child you got the chaser and then you got the love call it says the chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues it says love calls someone expresses love a message of love thinking 
of you and letting you know. So whoever this is that you're dealing with, my darling, I definitely feel like they're coming after you, like they're chasing after you. So I don't feel like this is going to be something where you have to question the love. You have to question this person's heart, their desire, if they want commitment. Like, no, like they want you and they're definitely coming after you. I don't I don't take any of that negative energy off of the chaser's card. I'm definitely taking that this person sees and wants what they desire and they're coming after it. That's basically being uh, backed up by the chariot card and you deserve love. Like, if you see someone that you know good and goddamn well, especially after you don't, sometimes, you know what, sometimes legitimately you have to go through an ain't shit situation to truly see and know what you're deserving of. Because I've been in this situation, you guys, Pisces, can I have a, can, I, can we have a conversation? Can we wrap a taste for a second? It took for me. To turn down some good men. Because I done had some chances before. Where it was some good ass men. That really wanted to be with me. Me and only me. And I could have been married now. If I seen the loyalty. If I would have seen the commitment. I Listen in that person. And what they were offering me. But at that time. I wanted something else. I was attracted to. The. I was attracted to all the wrong things. That's all I'm saying. So it had to take for me to go through me being attracted to the wrong thing, going through a whole bunch of unnecessary experiences, time and emotional shit that I cannot get back, wasted energy for me to understand, you know what? I had the generous man. I had the man that would kiss my feet and drink my bath water and that can cook and had a good job and I was loyal and respectful and that was good with my family and that wanted kids and that wanted marriage like I had someone that was willing to offer me all of that but I wanted to go around and chase some little stupid ass street thug that ain't want to do nothing but smoke weed and play playstation ain't do shit with his life you have to go through making those mistakes to when the right one coming to your face the next time after you done went through the storm, oh baby, you know they don't play around with that. Like, uh, 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 uh. That's giving me the same energy of the one that I woulda, shoulda, coulda with. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. This lover's card right here. Tch. I love this. I'm fucking loving it, y'all. I'm loving it. And if you see the one. And you know what's the one and you getting all positive energy and all that good shit up off of this shit. I'm not about to let that shit, but I would look. I, I would let that person know, like, look, I really feel I'm coming to you. I'm calling you. I want you. You know what I'm saying? And whoever this is, is just like not backing down. They're going to be very persistent with you. It's like you hold a key to their heart. Meeting the one, and I told you in the last, and this is crazy because in the last feeding, the one that I had to scrap, the one came out. Last two cards, and then we done, you guys. Check out, what is this? You got the high priestess. You got the ten of chalices in the reverse. You got the judgment, and then you got the ten of pentacles. Okay. So what this is basically telling me is I definitely feel and then you got the judgment card again and then you got the ten of pentacles. I definitely feel like you guys have been alone right now. Whoever this is, you guys have been alone. Um, I want to say you guys have been studying and just been taking care of yourself. Um, they said focusing on the why. Okay, so, yeah, because I'm, I'm forgetting it's the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So, you guys have been sitting here, like, really doing the inner work. I don't feel like you guys have been feeling pressured, um, feeling, feeling any type of disconnect with love or anything like that. I feel like you guys have been more focused on the why this happened, why you had to let go. Really coming to like understanding and like understanding universal law. Like this happened for a reason. 
We have highs and lows in life. We can't always like get fixated on shadow points in our lives. You know what I'm saying? When we were having a downslide, I went through that because I had to learn to let things that are toxic and not are not truly made of love go. If I would have not come to a point in balance within myself, because this is someone with self mastery. This is the high priestess. This is someone that has a true divine understanding of each and every living single thing in this world. Connection to the higher power is ridiculous. This woman is magical. Within her heart, her mind, her faith, her knowing, and her belief within herself, she can have anything that she wants to do. That she wants, but you can't have it without true mastery. You can't have it without being able to sit with yourself and work on yourself. You can't have it. Because if you can't do that for yourself, you'll never have no understanding of why this didn't work out. And if this was just not the correct uh, person for you, this was a lesson. Don't get mad at the lesson. Don't hate this person. Don't have resentment. This person came in their life and did what they were meant for you to do. To teach you something... So that you can have the correct balance. And again, a lot of people chase after individuals to fill a void. This person is completely fulfilled by herself. She don't want nobody in her life that don't want to be there. And that's fact. And she's okay with that. That's why she's okay with this not working out. Because she gets the bigger picture. A queen stands alone. Until the right king approaches her. Listen, she don't go chasing after no man. She waits in silence. She knows exactly what God's doing. She understands universal law and how things operate. So she could have just came out of a divorce or relationship, whatever it is. But she's okay. By herself as she understands the purpose of that in her life. That's why I'm trying to tell you. Now this person is being called. You got the judgment up here. You got the wedding up here. Now you're being called like for real this time. That shit wasn't real. In the, that shit was not real. It was a test. Was you going to sit there and cry? Because something didn't work out. Because God said No. <laughs> No. Y'all have fun. It's time to shut this shit down. Because I got something better for you to do. It's time to pack your shit up and go. You deserve true love. Someone to chase you. Not the other way around. Because you the shit. Okay? Make you really feel like you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Chasing you around because you the one. The judgment card yet again. Look at yourself. Look. Look, this one is different this time. This one has the foundation and the love. The generosity. The fruits. The wealth. The health. Everything. You see as she's running, you see those flowers? What I told y'all was springtime. It is time for things to spring into action. You are being called to truly show what you've learned. To truly show how much you've grown. To truly show how ready you are for this type of true love and commitment. This is something that you deserve. This is something that you've been working on. This is something that you've been sitting patiently. Quiet. You ain't make no fuss. You ain't fuss at God Say, why me? Why did you take this man? Why did you do this? Listen. It's all part of the process. I'm not scared of no storm. I'm not scared of no storm. God always creates life. And without destruction, there could be no new life. Listen. Balance of the light and the dark. True understanding. There could be no life without death. If this would have never happened. This would have never happened. None of this. None of this would be happening. None of this would be happening. So I want to make sure I took my time today with y'all. 
I wanted to make sure that I took my time today with y'all. Because, again, whenever I do these readings, I have no idea what the hell is going to come out. But once I started to feel what was coming out right here, this is amazing. And, again, God picked you, Pisces. Not nobody else. Look, you. I don't know whatever you've been doing. Listen, I don't know whatever you've been doing. Whatever you've been working on. Whatever you've been doing. You are absolutely perfect. God sees you shining. And, and, and it's not even that your time is coming soon, baby. Your time is coming right now. You ain't even going to have... You're not even going to have a chance to think. And as you and as you're thinking, it's just going to be an on flood. I'm trying to tell you so many ideas, so much energy, so much... Oh, my God. It's like for the first time in your life. You really feel happy and you feel like you're in your purpose, you're shining, and that you're living for the first time. So, I just want to send so much love to you, Pisces. I want you to enjoy all of this. When I'm saying all of this, baby, I mean all of Look, and then you got the love. I, I can't even hold all of these fucking good cards up. Like, this is too much. This is too much, y'all. This is too much. This is too much. Too much. In the chariot, whatever you're doing, keep going. Pisces, I love you. Continue to love yourself. And pass some. Look, I'm a Pisces rising, so I'm taking some of this energy with me. Okay, hello. I am reloaded. Boom. We up out of here. Y'all hit that like button. Peace.